Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and with all the macOS Monterey news, you didn't think I was going to forget about Trusty Big Sur, did you? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about all the information that you're going to need to know about the new 11.6.2 update, including even more information about Open Core Legacy Patcher. So we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Let's jump in and get started. Let's quickly go over some of the details of the 11.6.2 update. First of all, the build version was updated to 20G314. There is a full installer of the 11.6.2 update, and that's big news because, again, once we get into these releases, Apple normally does not release full installers because they did not release an M1 IPSW restore file. They stopped after 11.6. So if you want to restore your M1 MacBook Air or MacBook Pro or Mini or iMac, you can can only download 11.6 and that's a bummer but it is what it is for the update size always check from one version behind Apple got rid of the combo and Delta update terms because what they do is they take the updates only what you need so if you're still on 11.5.1 the update is gonna be a lot larger than it was if you're on 11.6.1 because that would be 2.68 gigabytes and a 3.49 actual what do I mean by the actual when you first see the update in system preferences it'll say 2.68 gigabytes but when you actually start the download it's it jumps up to 3.49 so i'm not sure what the deal with that is and if this is the real size or not or if that includes recovery we'll have to see what that does Apple also updated the M1 firmware to 742961.2. They also updated if you have an Intel T2 Mac from 2018 to 2020. That was updated to 1916.10.647. Apple also updated Safari. Now, this is really interesting because with macOS Monterey, Safari is included inside the 12.1 update. But with macOS Big Sur, Apple only released the Safari update today, December 14th, at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. So if you were looking for Safari update in system preferences, it wasn't there until late at this afternoon. So the Safari update was 15.2.16.612.3618. And you should see that in your system preferences right now as a separate update. Let's talk a little bit about that update process. I saved a screenshot of this because when you're on Big Sur, this is what you're going to see when you're in software updates. So you might see, well, wait a minute. My only update is Mac OS Monterey. Click upgrade now. No, you actually have to go under here. Another update is available and click on this little blue text in here to see the next window to see that 11.6.2 is available for you or the Safari update under here is available for you. And then once you click install now, like I showed you earlier, then you'll see the downloading and then it'll prompt you for a restart. You can look at that and say that Apple's really trying to push for macOS monitoring, and it's true, because the next thing I want to talk about is what happens in M1 recovery. Normally in the past, the recovery operating system would always be the same version as you're on. So for example, we're on 11.6.2, recovery should be on 11.6.2, but they updated recovery to macOS Monterey. I documented this in this article here that I put together when the 11 11.6.1 update came out, the recovery in M1 was updated to 12.0.1. So I wanted to know if the 11.6.2 update fixed it and brought it back to macOS Big Sur or if it updated it to 12.1. And what happened was is that it did not update recovery and recovery on this M1 Mac here, recovery is still on 12.0.1. So I figured at least it was updated to 12.1 because in macOS Monterey, recovery was updated to 12. 12.1. So it's weird that it wasn't updated and I'm going to have to see what's going on here because it doesn't really make any sense. I think Apple actually made recovery on Big Sur Monterey because they're really trying to push users to get to Monterey as quickly as possible. Now let's talk about one of the most important parts of the 11.6.2 update and that's security content. If you click on this link here and I'll put all these links in the description, Apple put out here all of the vulnerabilities that the Big Sur 11.6 6.2 update fixed and there's 31 individual security patches in this update so a lot of them are very important so I would recommend updating as soon as you can make sure always I always recommend that you back up your data before you apply any updates to macOS 
Now, like I mentioned earlier, since this is considered a security update, Apple does not release any patch notes for this update, but they are fixing stuff. So if you see here, I put in there, Apple did not does not release patch notes for security updates. But if we go up here and look, I cover a specific issue. But if we go up, if we go up here, I put undocumented Mac OS Pixar updates, changes and fixes, and that Apple in this update changed the full installer. And this issue here with a Mac OS Mojave up grade to Big Sur or Monterey would fail if it had a bunch of spotlight indexing folders. That issue was fixed by Apple in the Big Sur 11.6.2 full installer and the 12.1 full installer. So it's really a great fix and I'm glad Apple took care of that. Now let's talk about some open core legacy patcher unsupported Mac news. In my Mac OS Monterey 12.1 video, I mentioned how open core legacy patcher was updated to 0.3.2, but between then and now, they released 0.3.3 that had some additional fixes in there. With this release of open core legacy patcher 0.3.2 and 0.3.3, we've implemented a brand new spoofless approach for native OS usage. Previously, we would attempt to pass ourselves as a native Mac to pass OS checks. However, this forced us to implement numerous patches that Apple coded for the model that we set. With the spoofless approach, we're using VMM masking to hide ourselves as a virtual machine, allowing for greater flexibility with drivers and OS support. So there's some big changes in this release that I'm gonna probably go over in a new video to help explain and talk you how to update the version that you're on. If you're on 0.3.1 or under, you can stay in there now and be totally fine. But if you want to update, there's definitely some things that you're going to want to do before you make the jump to 0.3.3. Also, there's some issues that I've been seeing in the comments about the 12.1 update. Some people aren't even seeing it as available and others are having trouble updating and, and it's getting stuck during boot. So, I'm gonna to try to look at those issues and see what the deal is with that. If you're thinking about updating to 12.1, just give it a little time first so we can let the dust settle and maybe it's a particular issue with the 12.1 update itself or maybe there's something else going on. And again, I'll keep you updated in the update section in this video in the description on what's going on with the update. Plus, hopefully I can get together a 0.3.3 Open Core Legacy Patcher video so I can go over all this and walk you through updating your open core legacy patcher version to this latest version if that's something you want let me know in the comments and that's a quick overview of the 11.6.2 update did you install it are you staying on big sur for a while before you jump to mac os monterey have you heard about all the issues that are happening in monterey and you're saying you wanna i'm gonna stay on mac os big sur for a while that's totally fine there's no rush to jump to monterey but let me know in the comments what you think if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up or a share i really appreciate it if you want to see more videos like this in the future you can click on that subscribe button and if you want to see more Mac OS Monterey videos, you can click on the playlist in this window. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Classic2 underscore Mr. Mac for all the latest Mac OS news. And if you want to support me, you can join my patron. And I've got a bunch of wonderful patrons that have already joined, and I truly appreciate you. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.